Do you know what the difference is between a $6 garden hose and a $25 garden hose? Death, destruction, and mayhem. I wish someone would clue my goddamn wife into this fact. Okay, so over the weekend, my wife tells me that the new garden hose she bought to water the goddamn flowers in the backyard that are always dying, so I don't even know why in the hell she makes me plant them in the first place, because it'd make a lot more goddamn sense just to put it in a pool, had sprung a leak. And she tells me I gotta take it back to exchange it for a new one, which is a huge pain in the ass, but I know I'm not gonna win this battle, so I say fine, give me the receipt and tell me where you bought it and I'll take it back. And she's like, I got it at Hardware Depot, but I threw away the receipt, and I don't even know if it's worth taking back because it was only $6. And I'm like, what the fuck do you buy a $6 garden hose for? If you're going to buy a garden hose, go ahead and plunk down the 20 or 25 bucks it costs to buy a decent one that doesn't break. Jesus Christ! And that really sets her off, and she starts barking at me about how I never help around the house, and I say, fuck it, never mind, I'll take it back. So I take Stanley and the kids, and I load them in the minivan with the garden hose, and I drop them off at the duck park on the way, because Stanley likes to chase the shit out of the ducks, and I drive over to Hardware Depot, and it's crowded as fuck because it's a Saturday, and there's nowhere to park, and the line for the returns is a mile long, then when I get to the register, the guy behind the counter says he won't take back the hose, because I don't have a receipt! What the diarrhea monkey fuck? I tell the guy, dude, do you think I would shoplift a $6 garden hose, pop a hole in it, and then try to return it? How goddamn stupid do you think I am? Just take back the broken hose, let me exchange it for a new more expensive one, and I'll pay you the difference in cash right here. No problem. Long story short, the guy refuses, calls over his manager, and then that guy starts giving me a bunch of shit too, telling me that it's store policy and that he can't help me out. I tell the guy, store policy can suck my dick until its lips fall off, and that the store shouldn't be able to sell goddamn piece of crap $6 garden hoses to break in the first place. And that if he doesn't take back said garden hose pronto, I'm going to shove it up his ass and turn him into a human fun fountain. This really pisses the guy off. And he calls over a couple guys from a loading dock to throw me out of the store. And I'm like, it's on, motherfucker. It is literally my life's dream to get into a hand-to-hand -hand combat situation with a bunch of assholes in a hardware store. It's like, holy hell, there's so much stuff you could beat the crap out of someone with. Before I know it, Half a dozen guys in orange aprons are surrounding me, swinging 2x4s and lead pipes and all kinds of bullshit. Which is fine, because I grab a floor heater they've got on display and start swinging it around my head like a goddamn morning star. All you could hear through the whole place was the crack of plastic against skulls and the sizzling of human flesh against the heater's grill. It was beautiful. Then out of nowhere, two dickheads hop into forklifts and try and pin me up against a pile of all-weather wood sealant they've got stacked up to the rafters. I ditch the space heater and pick up an aluminum trash can lid and a shovel and am about to drop some serious Game of Thrones medieval beatings on their asses. And right then, guys around me start dropping like flies. Some psychopathic nut job had climbed up into a scissor lift and had started shooting the guys I'm fighting with in their knees and lower extremities. It was fucking crazy. And then as quickly as it started, it stopped and the guy disappeared. So instead of getting to hand out the truckload of cock stompings I had intended, I found myself performing field triage and emptying out my blowout kit, trying to jam these yammering idiots full of cellox pads and applying tourniquets while waiting for the paramedics to arrive. The only good news was that after all the cops and TV news crews left, the store not only gave me a refund for the $6 garden hose, they gave me a free $25 garden hose and a lifetime 20% off preferred customer discount card. Problem solved, problem staying solved. Rangers lead the way. Be sure to like this video and leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you do, you could win a free AFT t-shirt. And if you don't, I'm going to find you and crack you upside the head with a space heater.